Okay, I'm going to be quiet now. Hi, my name is Robert Correll, and I am very excited to bring you this tutorial on Sony Acid Pro 6.0. Sony Acid Pro is an incredibly fun program to use. It can be a little difficult to master at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, the sky is the limit. Creating your own music, sound effects, scoring your own videos, just doing whatever you want to that revolves around digital audio. We're going to start out the tutorial with some lessons on how to install Sony Acid Pro. Then we're going to take a look at the interface. You can see there's a lot to this interface. You've got your menu on the top, your toolbar, and all of these elements here which have to do with tracks and loops and sound effects and regions, markers and sections over here. You can see a time display and the measure and beat display as the song plays. Also got interface elements which allow you to change tempo, time signatures and keys, play your projects. You can scroll around, zoom in and out, as each one of these wave files that you see are displayed. You can see all my different track effects where I'm fading and I'm panning and doing all these different sorts of things in this song. Down at the bottom we've got area where we can see our Windows computer, our folders where our files are. We can look at the media manager, groove pool, and tons of other fun things. We're going to work with projects. We're going to be able to create new projects, songs, loops, you name it. We're going to create them. We're going to work with them. We're going to set new times, tempos, so forth. We're going to beat map files. We're going to export our media publish our audio, create some CDs. We're also going to work with the track list over here. You can see each track is listed on the left hand side of the interface. A lot of different controls. We can change the volume, panning, assign effects, assign each track to a different bus in the mixer. We're going to explore the timeline in depth where we're going to be able to create all of these regions and markers. We're going to put our tracks on the timeline, be able to mix and arrange them exactly to achieve the effect we want. We can even change the pitch on each track. If you can see this minus three here, I've lowered the pitch of this small little loop by three steps. I'm changing the pan of this track from right to left and back again. It's a lot to do in the timeline. We're also going to work with a mixer. Let's turn that on. Here's the mixer. You can see all of the different buses that I've got. Master bus, which assigns volume for the overall project. And I've created several different buses to route my percussion and effects through, my voice, my couple of lines here and I've got my virtual instruments which are playing MIDI and this is the compact Sony SM Pro edition. If I double click that I can see the interface it allows me to choose what instrument I'm using through compact. All really really cool. We're also going to use the media manager which organizes all of our loops we're going to use the Explorer. We're going to chop media. We're going to work with grooves. We're going to mix. We're going to manipulate media. We're going to work with MIDI and we're going to create surround sound projects. Work with different types of effects. Use some automation. We're going to do some recording and score video. A lot of other things are going to happen. It's really an action packed tutorial. There's so much here to learn and do, and it's really, really fun. I just can't wait to get started. So throughout the whole tutorial, I'm going to intersperse different projects, like scoring video, like a grooving project, a MIDI project, and we're going to take a step back from just learning the nuts and bolts of the interface and put it together, okay? So I think we can wrap this lesson up. Had a good introduction to Sony Acid Pro in the tutorial, and I'm raring to go.